so this is our 1995 International Harvester 4700 crew cab. Uh, this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the truck. Following that, I will do a second walk around where you'll see close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes, and then there'll be some shots of the interior and the engine bay. So we are actually selling this truck on behalf of the Claremont Collection, a very well-established collection here on the north side of Chicago. It's actually a museum as well, um, over 300 cars in a beautiful climate control facility uh, worth going if you're in the Chicago area. But anyway, the, uh, the truck was built, uh, it's, a, it's obviously a resto mod kind of thing, but it was built in 2013 up in New York um, by a gentleman named Fred Drake. Uh, there's quite a bit of coverage on the truck if you're doing some online research. Um, it was featured in Truck Trend and 8 Lug Magazine. Uh, at that time it was actually orange with an orange interior. Uh, the builder drove it for a year or so, did a bunch of runs from his place in New York down to Florida, do a bunch of shows, and then he sold it to a gentleman in Florida, and then it went from Florida to Chicago. While in Florida, it saw a color change from orange to black, and the whole interior was redone instead of the orange bench seat that was pulled out and black leather buckets were installed. So it's actually, the dimensions are interesting, you'll see them in the listing, but it's, uh, the roof has been chopped by a foot, uh, the frame has been shortened by 7 feet, the drive shaft was shortened by 5 feet. It's a really cool shape, it almost, it almost looks uh, Hummer inspired. But the engine is a low mile um, 7.6 liter out of, a, uh, out of a wrecked school bus from 98. Uh, and then he put a brand new Garrett M24 turbo on there left in stock otherwise. You can see here just the blemishes. There's one on the uh, passenger front fender. And then if you look really closely in the right lighting, because the doors were shaved, you can kind of tell where they, you know, where they were shaved and filled. It's not glaring by any means, but it's a show truck, so worth noting. The bed was from a 67 International step side. Uh, the tonneau cover was from a late model Chevy pickup. It's got two 150 gallon side fuel tanks. And there's just another look at the, uh, at the shave door. The rear quarters uh, were widened by a foot to accommodate 445 rubber. Cabin's accessed by a push button under the fender. Yeah, black leather buckets are powered. Interior is extremely nice. Uh, there's green piping all over the place, which matches the uh, custom classic embroiderment. You can see that two-spoke wooden wheel. Dash is super nice. No kicked open markings on the door panels or anything like that. It's only been a couple years since the interior was done, so it presents, you know, largely close to new. Got that big console. Very comfortable place to be.